Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is a quick demonstration of Visual Studio with Markdown. You can see I've got the preview open, the preview window open over here. And you'll notice that it starts as two and then 14. Now what's happening here is that Visual Studio Code as well as Markdown is <clears throat> smart enough to know that if I'm going to put a different number at the front, at the very top of this numbered list, then the numbered list automatically renumbers for us. So I'm going to move that line down and you can see that the numbering has changed correctly. So uh, which means that you don't really have to worry so much about these numberings. Now let's see. Uh, yeah, if you change then if you change it to 1.4, it doesn't work. Um, you have to use the periods there as well. I can move these numbers up and down by using the arrow key. Uh, so here we go. Alt plus arrow, move it down, and now note the numbering has changed again. And let's go ahead and put uh, 300 there. I'm going to arrow up, and now you see that the numbering has changed successfully again. So that's very handy. And if you're wondering if this is only for Visual Studio Code, you are uh, you would be mistaken because the Visual Studio Code, <clears throat> wherever you use it, the markdown gets rendered based on whatever is the first number. So back to Visual Studio Code. Keep this in mind. This is a very useful tool, at least for myself. If you do a lot of text editing, being able to move the line up and down just by using the Alt arrow key. That's very handy. Thanks for watching and happy computing.